This video will show you uh, the features that are embedded into uh, the patch map uh, system and allows it to be uh, far superior to anything else that's out there claiming to do anything close to this. And uh, here's some of the things that makes it, makes it uh, that much different. This is an area here, it's right across, uh, right on the Alberta BC border as you can see. Um, you'll notice that wherever I click anywhere on the screen or even hover, I'm just moving the cursor around, it tells me which LSD section township range meridian I'm in. So this is uh, just a dynamic part of the background information. In BC where the PNG system exists, that's petroleum natural gas rather than LSD typically uh, referred to in Alberta and Saskatchewan. Um, the, uh, there are different size of blocks uh, designed a little bit differently but the concept uh, is down to a, approximately the, the same size of chunk of ground. Um, we don't have all the, the, the LSD lines in in Alberta. You'll notice here in this area here we also have the quarter sections, uh, the northwest of and the northeast of etc. And uh, what we're doing here is we're adding in the features that we include in the AgMap product so that you have both quarter section information and LSD information in the one product. Now for the uh, well site information itself um, we uh, have uh, the green dots uh, are indicating well sites. If I hover on this one you can see that uh, it's called 3 of 32, 72 13 west of the 6th. There are actually two uh, um, zones that were produced here unless of course the it was a re-entry and we'll be able to tell that from the license number if it was the same license number it would be uh, the same drill so it would be two different zones they are apparently both producing at this time and uh, and they're both green which also means they're producing you'll notice right, right beside it here is a 5 of 32 but it's gray that gray would indicate that it is not a producer and I can go into the features and, and actually see them from here. That was a right click by the way. And uh, it's abandoned and there's the date that it was licensed and there's the license number. Sometimes the number is off to the side a bit. Sinclair's a strike zone and the surface location would indicate that it's a vertical well or nearly vertical. It doesn't go outside of the of the LSD. Um, the uh, over on, on uh, Alberta BC side here you'll see this green circle with the X through it that's actually an abandoned well or rather uh, a cancelled well which means uh, it uh, never was built or perhaps uh, hasn't been uh, yet um, verified that it was never built and so that's how it's it's actually uh, designated on there so uh, there'll be a few of you guys out there that need to uh, know that to go back and verify these cancellations. You'll notice a, a big uh, dark circle here which is actually a facility, uh, typically a plant site but it could be a, a various uh, facility. I believe um, there it is, is the plant site and if I look at the properties of that it's telling me that it's an Encana gas plant and it's in the cut bank field. So uh, that's how a lot of that is done. We also have uh, little uh, orange circles here and they're indicating uh, CS for compressor site. If, you hope, if I hover there you can see there's a well, a 00, zero and a WS for well site and there's also a CS for, for the compressor site. Um, there is uh, how, how that stuff works. The directional drill lines are actually these uh, black lines with a yellow casing on them and in Alberta they are named by their bottom hole so this is called 704 and yet and when I hover down here uh, you'll see that I'm sitting actually in 1104 and the bottom hole is in the 704 location so whether they call it by the surface they'll take you to that same uh, location no matter how how they do it so that's very beneficial these are contour lines that I'm looking at here now uh, they are lines uh, separate uh, indicating lines of the same elevation and um, so wherever you uh, um, uh, uh, when you hover on one to the other you'll see that they're 10 meter separation so wherever the lines are closer together they're the steeper the, the ground is going to be steeper um, 
the little yellow, uh, green dashed lines are seismic lines. And all of this stuff, when you hover on it, it tells you. So you don't really have to have too much of an understanding of, of uh, well, what you're looking at. It pretty much tells you just by touching it. Uh, right down to the fact of the lakes are named and are searchable, so I could search for these lakes and find them. Uh, there's a, a, a point in the middle that we leverage uh, in, in, the, uh, in the GPS. Uh, we, we put them in as fake cities that are in the center of every township and in BC in the center of every map sheet that allows you to, uh, to get uh, within proximity of this location if you were looking for it. So you could search for only a, a well site, or, or rather a, a, a township, and be able to search for that and, and sort of zap you to that location. Those are the features that are built right into, into the patch map product, uh, all the way across all, all of our data sets. Um, uh, allows you to uh, do a um, basically search and find pretty much anything that you're ever going to be looking for from a creek and creek name. To uh, to uh, a lake to anything, it's built right into the into the tool, and uh, those are the features built into the patch map.